So you may ask me, what is this that you are showing us? This is $2.26 and change. And you may ask, why are you showing us this? Okay. Let me say this. All glory, honor, and praise goes to God alone, not me. I am not looking for any praise, any honor, or anything like that, because it all goes to God, not I. Sometimes when you go to particular places, you are going to see homeless people or people that are in need. So, in the past, what I would do is just get change and place it somewhere. So, when a person would ask for money or something like that, I would have to go to my car and count the change and pass it to that person. A certain amount. And sometimes you may see homeless people at intersections. So what you would have to do then is pull over, count your change, then pass some of it to that person. Now, that really takes time. So what came to my mind, why not place it in a bag? then pass it to people. Then a better idea came to me, why not place it in a piece of paper and place something about God on it so you would be killing two birds with one stone. So you are telling them about God and giving them change as well. So you are doing two things at once. What is your point, Kevin? Some people may say that they are willing to do anything for God, but what they miss, when you do things for people, you are doing it unto God. You are saying that you are willing to do whatever for God, but when you see people that are in need, you skip over them. How crazy is that? How hypocritical is that? Are you trying to tell me that you don't have one dollar here, two dollars there, some change here and there, are you telling me that $2 every so often passing out passing it out to people is really going to hurt you? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you telling me that $5 here and there or some spare change is really going to hurt you? Are you serious? Even going out and buying a person food. Are you telling me that that is going to hurt your pocket? Many people are saving up for a rainy day. So when you say that you are broke or you don't have enough money, that is not the truth. It is not like that you are giving everyone you see $20. Your priorities in life is so mixed up. You are saving your money for things that are going to rust and decay. When you are doing simple things like this, helping out people in need, my Lord, God is going to bless you for it. You are not going to be blessed for saving up for a rainy day. 
Well, Kevin, if I don't save up, I am not going to have enough money for myself. Isn't it God that makes it possible for you to save your money and to have your job or to receive an income as you are? But you are trusting in your own power and not in God. I believe I was speaking about faith in my last video. You can't have more faith within yourself than in God. This is just one easy way that you can get blessed by God. So many people want to get blessed by God, but they are not willing to do the simple things that are going to get them blessed by God. It really makes no sense. Kevin, I want to get blessed by God. Okay, I am showing you. This is a simple way. Help out your fellow man, your fellow woman as well. One easy way to get blessed. It really doesn't take too much. But you rather think about yourself and want God to intervene in your life when you are mostly a selfish person. But you want to get blessed by God and you are not willing to position yourself to get blessed by God. How crazy is that? You are going to reap what you sow. So if you want to reap a harvest, a good harvest, how about sow some seeds? Do good deeds for people. Because you are going to get back, even get back more than what you put in. And this doesn't have to be all about money. This can be about good deeds as well. Doing kind things for people. Sometimes I give people my time, which I value time more than money because you can never get your time back. You can always get money back. Sometimes I give people my time. Don't you think that God is honoring that? Don't you think that I am reaping a harvest off of that? Sow seeds. If you sow seeds of discord, discord is coming back to you. If you do good deeds for people, good deeds are coming back to you. You want to get blessed by God, but you are not willing to position yourself to get blessed. The way that it is, please take everything in context. Please place my words in context. When you move, God is going to move. When you act, God is going to meet you halfway. But you, but you have to do something. You can't just sit there and, and believe that God is going to move your body or how can I say that? You have to do something. You can't just sit there and believe that God is just going to rain blessings upon your life by you just sitting there. You have to be active. Do something. So I pray that this makes sense. 
God bless you.